In Creo Simulate, you can create idealizations such as mass elements in order to simplify the analysis that you need to perform. Here I have an assembly. Let's say that I am a structural analyst and I am tasked with analyzing this part. And I determine that this is one of the two parts that is going to support the crankshaft subassembly. So I need to take the weight of the crankshaft subassembly into account as one of my loads in the analysis that I am going to perform. But I do not want to include all the geometry from the crankshaft subassembly as that would make my model huge. It would take forever to run. So instead, I will represent the contribution of the crankshaft subassembly as a mass element. And you can use those idealizations when you want to to analyze the contribution of the mass, but you don't want to add any additional stiffness. And so let me start by selecting this part and then from the mini toolbar, I will choose the open icon to open it in its own separate window. And I need to create a datum point for where I am going to locate that mass element. And I could do that here in standard part mode, but in this situation, since I'm creating that point only for use in Creo Simulate, I'm going to jump into Creo Simulate first. Let's go to Applications, and then here is the Simulate command. And so let's see, I need an axis going down the middle. I'll turn on my axis display, and I've got the center axis here. But now I need a plane to intersect it for the point. Let me turn on my datum plane display. And now I can see my default datums. And I realize that my default datum is on one side of the model. It's not exactly where I need it to be. So I will go to the Refine Model tab and create a mid-plane. I'll click on the plane icon and I'll select the datum plane called front, one of my default datums. I'll hold down the control key and select this front surface. And so in this way, I will end up getting a mid plane. If I want to, I could change the name of the plane, but I will just click the OK button. If you take a look at my model tree, here you can see I've got a folder for simulation features. And here we have the datum plane. And so this datum plane exists only within Creo Simulate. However, if you right click on it, there is a promote command if you want to use this in standard part mode as well. But with the datum plane selected, let me hold down the control key and select that axis. And with both of those objects selected, I can click on the datum point command from the mini toolbar. It will create a point at the intersection of those two entities. That's what I need. I will click the OK button. And let me turn on my point display. And I will turn off my axis and plane display. And so there is the point where I'm going to locate my mass element. And once again, you can see that this point is a simulation feature. It only exists in Creo Simulate. To create the mass that I'm going to hang onto that point, I will click on the mass command. It will open up the mass definition dialog box. You can change the name of the feature. I'm happy with that, or maybe I want to call it crankshaft. So let me type in crankshaft so someone else can see what this is for. You can change the name of the feature. Here's a type drop down list where you can choose between simple or advanced. But in this situation, I just need a simple mass element. I just need to define the mass. I don't need to define any other properties like those pertaining to inertia. Then for our references, we need to select points. And there are a bunch of different options here, like a single point feature pattern, a datum in, or intent datum point, or a lattice set. But I just want to grab a single point. Let me grab this point. And then there is a drop down list where you could choose the distribution, either total mass or mass per point. Well, I only have one point, so total mass is fine. 
And I took a look at the mass properties of that crankshaft subassembly. And rather than express it in tons, which is a really big unit, I happen to know how much it weighs in pounds. And I took the weight in pounds, divided by two, assuming that it's going to be supported by this component and then another component on the other side of the engine. So I came up with a mass of 19.18 pounds mass. That's good. I will click the OK button. And so... I have my mass idealization created. It is right here. Let me turn off my point display, seeing as I no longer need it. You can see the little sphere that represents that mass. So I have the mass in the model later on. Later on in another video, I, show, I will show you how to attach this to your simulation model. And in this case, we would do it with a weighted link, which would take that mass and distribute it over the references that I select.